All of me, it's Miguel Sampasua. Miguel, my name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video. Welcome to the start of my third Christmas month. And welcome to my second reaction to Bullseye. So I first did Bullseye in November of last year, I believe. And this is a channel points request by Gary. Thank you, Gary, for using your points on this. Just a couple days ago, he requested this, actually. This might be the one of the quickest uh, points to videos done ever. Because he just requested this literally a couple days ago. Um... He found a Christmas episode from Series 11, I think it is. So that means it was somewhere in between September 1st, 91 and... Well, actually, wait a minute. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's a Christmas special. So it was obviously in December of 91 then. I was about to say it was somewhere in between September 91 and March 92. But then I thought about it for a second. I'm like, wait, <laughs> it was more than likely in December. <laughs> more than likely in December. Uh, so... I'm excited to see who wins the speedboat today. Let's go ahead and watch it. Alrighty. Got 27 minutes on this. Uh, forgot how good the speed was. So. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you for your welcome. Uh, welcome at home to this very special edition of Bullseye. It isn't Christmas. Um, yes, it is as well. Let me tell you, isn't it a marvellous time around Christmas where you buy presents and try and surprise people? I've got to tell you, the girls in the office here, the Bullseye office, I overheard them the, the other day talking about my present. They, they're very, very, very kind, thoughtful. They, do you know what they... No, listen, it's, no, it's serious. Listen, listen, listen. They said... Oh listen, shit, watch out. Listen. Uh, excuse me. What? what? <laughs> Remember we fire service here? And uh, Sid Squirt, oh. Chief Safety Officer, speaking. Yes. Uh, before you introduce any of our scintillating guests. I haven't read any of the Grimmelweeds, but. I must be satisfied that the set has been submitted to the stringent standards <laughs> that are specifically laid down by the central safety <laughs> schedule. So, excuse me, do you, I'm trying to do a Christmas show here. Yeah, oh, what the fuck It's a special, you know, it's a Christmas... Could I uh, send, um... <laughs> could I possibly send some Christmas felicitations to my sister? Well, yeah, if you must, yeah. Oh, no. This is for Sadie and <laughs> Cecilia. Really? Yes. And where, um, where do they live? They live at Sprayingham in Sussex. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. Get off. Get off. <laughs> Let's meet our three couples, all celebrities in their own right. Our first couple oh, tonight, okay. ready to defend his Embassy World Championship. We've got Dennis Priestley and the man who lets his fingers do the talking, John McCreary. Nice one, right there. Hey! That's right, he's a horse riding. He was a horse racing. I, I saw him in still game. Boxing Day Racing Channel 4 from Kempton. You back the favourite. Is that I the one to back in the big race? Back the favourite, yeah. right. Yeah. How are you doing, young Dennis? Smashing fine. Oh, he's doing the words as well, you see. <laughs> Have a great night. Make a lot of money for charity. Cheers. Off you go. Set no. yourself down. We'll see you soon. All right, we move on. Second celebrity bear tonight, the bullseye champion, Bob Anderson, and our special guest and magic all of her own, Linda Lusardi. Yay! Hey. Whoa, way. Bob's what? got some pep in his step. Excuse me. How is it you get the best jobs, Bob Anderson? Well, you know. Uh, well, good looking. You've got it all. I you. know, that's it. Nice to see you, Linda. Thank you. Loved you on the shows with, uh, with, uh, with um, Wayne Dobson. Wayne Dobson. Yes. I knew the name. I was just testing you. <laughs> Marvellous. I hope you're going to do well tonight and yeah. magic some prizes for some worthy causes. All right. Love Have it. a great night, the pair of you. All right. Thank Off you, you go. Thank see you in a minute. What about that? All right, we move on. We've got World Masters champion and someone none of us will argue with, Frank Bruno, along with Phil Taylor. Here we go. <laughs> Frank, come in here. Hi, <laughs> right, Frank, nice to see you. Thank you. This man's been a monster, hasn't he? <laughs> what are we going to do with him? Well, he's hitting me in oh, the face. Does he keep hitting you as well? Yeah. He keeps well, the darts at me. I'll tell you what, if he thinks he's going to win tonight, he probably will if he says so, won't he? I hope so. <laughs> we won't be making a lot of money anyway. Have a good Cheers. night. Thanks for taking the trouble to be with us, the pair of you. Thank Off you, you go. Nice. Well done. Cheers. Brilliant. 
Like his voice is so monotone combined with the audio, okay. I couldn't even say the thing you said. play Bullseye. And it really is the battle of the champions tonight, isn't it, Tony? <laughs> it really is, Jim. Listen, I'm going to talk to you about this. Up to now in the series, I've been giving you, well, you know, you've been trying to take the game over and do a bits and bobs, and I've given you a bit of stick, haven't I? You have, Jim, yes. Yeah, well, as it's Christmas, I'm really going to make it up to you now. Oh, you shouldn't. Oh, well, I won't, then. <laughs> well... Oh, go on, then, I will. There you are. There's a sugar pig for Christmas. <laughs> Is that all right? Hey, have a drink on me. All right, thanks very much indeed. <laughs> Time of Christmas, goodwill and cheer. Here are our questions waiting to be answered, and over there are three celebrities waiting to win a lot of money for charity tonight. OK, here we go. J uh, John, what do you think the odds tonight are on the game? Well, I'm the outsider of three, the complete rag, 50 to 1 chance. I reckon Frank's odds on. Up the arm on Lynn's weight on Frank. He's the brains round here. Is that right? But what about Linda? <laughs> well, I've been studying the form of a filly very closely indeed. I reckon she's 40, 24, double carpet, 33. But I'm only guessing, of course. <laughs> Whatever the fuck me, that John. means. Look at me. Behave yourself. All right, let's play the game. Here we go. Questions in the first round, £30 each. Remember, it's all for charity. Young Frank, pick a subject for Phil. Places, Jim Boy. <laughs> right, Phil. <laughs> OK, Phil. That's the nice. bullseye! 200 pounds. Well done, Frank. Well done, Easy Frank. clap, boys. Frank, Frank, concentrate yes, on this now. Concentrate on this concentrate, question, please. Jim Boy. Listen. <laughs> In which American state is Phoenix, Frank? Harry, Harry... Arizona Harry, is absolutely yeah, right. Well done, that's fine. <laughs> 230 pounds have got. Brilliant. Sure. Yeah, close enough. Linda, <laughs> choose a subject, choose a subject for both. Um, I think I have faces, please. All right, and why not a pretty lady like your good self? Faces we'd like. That's a bullseye! Got him. Oh, God, we got pros playing. Good start for you, Linda. For another £30, Linda, look at your monitor. Who is that? <laughs> Looks a bit like Les Dawson, doesn't it? Well, in fact, yeah, it, it is, but what's he doing? Um, no, it's Jeremy Beadle. He's found somewhere else to hide his camera. That's absolutely <laughs> right, and it looks as though he's found it. Well done. £30 you've got. Good. We move on. John for Dennis. And um, sport, please. Sport, please, Jim. Sport we'd like, please. Dennis. Shocker there. Sport, Dennis. That's a bullseye! Sure, well done, well done. John, look at your monitor. The people at home will watch it as well. What, what? was unusual? <laughs> Watch it carefully. What was unusual well, about that race? It's a big field at Newmarket, many well-backed horses. Some of them, I think, have got big rear ends. Dead heat! Well, let's have a look. Absolutely right. Dead heat. Good man. Gets you £30. Well played. We move on to round two. £230 for each team. We move on to round two. Frank, Excuse for Phil. Me, sir. Yes, wait, wait, wait. Excuse me, sir. I've yeah. got a complaint to me. I have got a complaint Just... to me. Just a minute. What's the complaint? What's I the... was riding that horse in that last race. I was riding shampoo. My name is Tim O.T. Well, listen. Now, listen, I have a complaint the... to make. Yes, That right. man there has shortened my odds. Has he really? Yes. Why don't you grow up? OK, I will. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Get off. Thank you. Right. Why don't we do that? Move on. <laughs> Frank, choose a subject for Phil. <laughs> Words, Jim Boy. <laughs> He's gonna get a kick out of that. Fuck it up. That's 100. Well done, got 100 him. pounds you've got there, Frank. A further 100. Describe the sect. Be careful about this one, Frank. It's not too easy. Describe the sect who worship the incarnation of Vishnu, the Hindu god. Uh, Harry. Uh, uh, Harry. Harry Krishna's right. Yeah, Krishna. Well done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Good. <laughs> we move on. Linda for Bob. Um, I'll have spelling, please. Spelling, Jim. please, Bob. One hundred. One hundred pounds you've Hold got on. for a further They're fifty pounds, Linda. Now. Listen very, very carefully. Can you spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, you're absolutely right, and neither can bully. <laughs> <laughs> he agrees with us. We move on. John for Dennis. Um, history, please. History, like, please, Dennis. Three straight 100s. One 
100. Hey. Oh, well played, Dennis. Good for another 50 pounds, John. In 1964, the pop group Manfred Mann had their first hit. What was it called? Hand, roof, carpet, bottle, top. What's Five, that? four, three, two, one! Absolutely right. For that, you've got 50 pounds. We move on now. It's all happening and you're all scoring very well. All with 380 pounds each. Round three in game one. Frank for Phil. For a second, everybody said Manson. Yes, um, what do you think, um, Frank? Book, books, please. Books, books for you, yeah, Frank. That's, that's right. That's good. Cheers. So kind. <laughs> 100. 100 pounds you've got. <laughs> Which? Relax, relax, Jim Boy. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let it all. Yeah. Which Greek philosopher's masterpiece was called The Poetics? Harry. Uh, Harry um... Aristotle is absolutely yeah, right. Well done. <laughs> 100 pounds you've got. We move on. Linda for Bob. Um, I'll have showbiz, please. Showbiz with like, please, Bob. Showbiz. Right, Bob. 100. Well played, well, Bob. Excellent. Well Another 100 pounds for you, Linda, if you can tell me this. Not an easy one, this. Think carefully. Who started out as a taxi driver and ended up going back to the future twice. Oh. Oh, that one with the crazy eyes. Yeah, um, right. You got him. Come on, it's £100, Linda. Oh. Uh, Come on. Is it um, Christopher Lloyd? Christopher Lloyd for £100. Well, hey, so I can I am. <laughs> I, I just been back to the future to the year 2085. And guess what? The Allied carpet sale is still on. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're looking good. You're all scoring very well. John for Dennis. Well, I can't have an affair these days, Jim, so I'll have Britain instead. Britain instead. You're more than welcome, sir. Britain would like, Dennis. Right, Dan. Yes, 100. Well played. Very well, well played, Dennis. That's 100 you got. For another 100 pounds, John, a fairly comprehensive answer for this, please, if you could. In the traditional English carol, what was brought on the fifth day of Christmas? Oh. Five gold rings, Five gold ring, cheap yeah. second-hand rubbish, that's from Ratners. You've got four <laughs> calling birds, asked Linda. The birds are always calling me these days. Three French hens, two turtle doves, evens a partridge, level the devils a partridge, scots a partridge, even money, even. Sit down, a hundred pounds. <laughs> Absolutely right, John, well done. It's OK, it's the hell of a drug. Scores. At the end of game one, all three couples with £580. We move on to game two now. The three dart players compete in three rounds of darts against each other to win for the partner question. The value of that question is a winning score. It's pounds for points. Best of luck to all of you. Over to Tony. OK, Phil. 20. Okay. Trouble 20. And 25. Nice. That's 105. Hold on, Phil. 105, Bob. One. Oof. 20. Come on, Bob. And 20, 41. You fucked it up, Bob. 105. Get out of my son! Get out of my son! <laughs> Twenty. Twenty. And treble twenty, one hundred, but a hundred and five for Phil, Jim. What is the name, Frank, of the vertical takeoff jet fighter developed in this country? Was Harry it? Styles. Harriet. Harriet Harry is right. Yeah, well that's right. Yeah. Well done. Right. Good, Frank. Right. Look at the scores. You're well in front now. We go back to Tony for right round two. Are, Phil. Second round. 20. 20. Oh, come on. And 5. Oh. 45. Bad luck. Ah. OK, Bob, 45. Come on, Bob. 20. Trouble 20. And 25, Oy. so 105. That's the score, Dennis, 105. Five. 
treble 20. And treble 20, 125, Damn. takes the second round. Well yeah. played. It's a question for you, John, and it can take you into the lead. Listen carefully. What was the date of the Battle of Bannockburn where the Scots fought the English? Mm. The Scots were 100 to 1, weren't they? Very heavy going. I reckon it was 13, 14. It's absolutely right, sir. It gives you £125 for charity. That's very good indeed. It's back to Tony. OK, Phil. Nice. One. And 20. 41. Did you see that? Whoa, someone wretched up in the crowd there. Do you hear them? Like, <laughs> Five. Ugh. 20. Okay. And nice. 20. 45. And beat Dennis, that, striped shirt. To beat. You got fucking nothing, striped shirt. Trouble oh, 20. shit. <laughs> 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> and 17, which gives okay. you 97 in the final round. That was wrong. How many chains are there in a furlong, John, for 97 pounds? Well, uh, eight furlongs to the mile. 22 yards to the chain, 1,760 yards to a mile. I make it 10, net in bookmaker's language on the course. N-E-T-T-E-N, net 10. Absolutely right, sir, for 97 pounds. Gives us a score to the end of game two. Now, well, we've got Linda and Bob with 580 pounds, Frank and Phil with 685 pounds, but through to Bully's Prize Board tonight on this special edition, John and Dennis with 802 pounds. So we've got to say cheerio to Frank and Phil and Linda and Bob. Thank you very much to our runners up. In you come. Peace, honey. Uh, <laughs> Frank's trying to whip your ass. No problem. No problem at all. You've done very, very well. OK, Frank, where's your money going? Uh, help, help the agent. Help the agent? Yeah, and you're, you're helping yourself at Christmas. What are you doing? Eating Christmas pudding, Jim. No, I mean, you're working. <laughs> Come on now, Frank, right, you're working. I'm in Bristol. In Bristol. In the all, all the best there. A lot Thank of pleasure to people down in Bristol. Good. Sure, Linda, well. where's your charity going? It's um, Save the Children Fund. Yes, and you're working at Christmas as well? I'm playing Snow White at Newcastle this Newcastle. Week. You're oh, entertaining well. the children at Christmas I as well? Am. Thanks yes. very much indeed. Thanks for watching. Come back in the second half. Over 12 and a half, 100 quid gone so far. Much more in the second half in two minutes. No. I don't want to watch ads. It's not that video yet. Good God, no. Okay, we're good. Welcome back to this special edition of Bullseye. Now, normally at this stage we do the charity throw, but you've probably gathered by now, every throw, every bit of the programme tonight is for charity. Here we've got something different. Listen to Tony. With more incredible power than <laughs> Jockey Wilson on a skateboard, it's... The Navy. The Army. And the Royal Air Force. Hey. Is it military propaganda time, brothers? I think it is. <laughs> Royal Air Force to the hockey. Missiles at the ready. Three missiles. In your own time, go on. Twenty. Ooh. That's twenty-five. And double five. Recover missiles. Move along. Move along. Move along. Steady. Royal Navy to the hockey. Let's try not to laugh. Air Force with 55. Exercets at the ready. Three exercets in your own time. Go on. 20. 20. Another 20. Recover weapons. Move along. Move along. Steady. Army to the hockey. Three round grouping in your own time. Go on. 20. Nice. Treble 20. Nice. And 585. Got him. Honors go to the army. Good, Good shit. Accumulated score. Accumulated score of 200 pounds. Thank you, so, sir. Quick march. Thank you, boys.
move. Headdress. That's the military bit over. Thank you very much indeed, boys, for coming to see us. You've come a long way. Warrant Officer Steve Hutchins of the Royal Signals. What are you doing the signals, uh, Steve? I'm in administration, Jim. What does that mean, Steve? What will you? Uh, ensuring that the guys get the pay. Well, you're very important to us. They've earned it over the last few months, haven't they? That's right. Brilliant. We're thrilled to bits. Regulating Petty Officer John Reid. What's regulating John as against a normal or a Chief Petty Officer? Uh, basically, Jim, it means I'm a service policeman. I can't tell because of the quality of that's your girlfriend's burn. I certain certainly do. I can't tell if he's got a face burn or a ginger beard. You're all the way from Gibraltar. You brought, brought a little present that's for the right, show, Jim. haven't you? We had uh, the lads got a bit of get together, and that's from everybody in Gibraltar. That's done, actually. Uh, going to the same charity as uh, you've certainly been fighting for tonight. There we are. That's on its way, and a very generous one it is too. Thank you very much indeed, Senior Aircraftsman Kevin Turnbull. Thank you for coming, sir. You've uh, you got you're just back from the Gulf. Got that sports for much. Glad to be back. Yeah, super smashing champion, great. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Wright got out there, did he as well? It's, we're delighted to see not only you back, but all the boys back safe and sound. We were thrilled to bits for you all. Thanks very much indeed. You've got two hundred pounds there for for your uh, charity. How would you like that money, Sergeant Major? Add the double, sir. Well, in fact, that's what we'll just do. We'll double that, four hundred pounds, and we'll give it to the Soldiers, Sailors, and Air Force Association, which, as you all know, is a charity for uh, dependents of servicemen throughout the UK. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, We're, excuse yes. me, Mr. Vines. <laughs> <laughs> what, yes. what is it doing well, here? Seeing all these lovely gentlemen on here, you see, I've, wonder, I've just realised what I'd like for Christmas, you see, and I'm <laughs> spoiled for choice, you see. Yeah. <laughs> it's like waiting for a bus, isn't They're it? like, what you the fuck? <laughs> you wait for hours and hours, then four come along all at once. <laughs> and then right, turn, quick, march, oh, Yep, on. peace. Get out of there as quick as you can. We're delighted about that. Now, John and Dennis have got £802. Oh, no, just a moment. Oh, God. With us, with us. Stand still, don't speak. Sit with us. Thank you very much indeed. Just a moment, because we've got this uh, Sid, Sid's here. Please there we go. Button. Thank you very much. Right, thank you. Uh, have you just on? a moment, sir. I have drilled a hole in Miss Lusardi's dressing room door, as you yes. requested. Get off, Bruh. get off, get off. You're getting me in trouble. Get off, get off. Sir. Now then, Sid Squirt, what do you wish to say? I've secured the uh, Can't make that joke no more. certificate of uh, safe worthiness <laughs> for the studio. Oh, well, it's here, it should stand you in good stead. Yes, very good. I uh, Just a uh, few words to say to you. Oh, yes? Get stuff. Oh. You <laughs> <bastard. laughs> Get off. Right. Let's bring back as they play on the last part of the special edition of Bullseye. John and Dennis, in you come, boys. All right, yeah, I've got that. Well done. 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 Well what we're going to do is actually just run Bully's prize board. Now, it's a very special set of prizes for the Christmas edition. What? No speedboat? We speed asked some boat? charity advisors to select deserving causes across the country who, who could the particularly kids love benefit speed from boats. a helping hand. And we've got all their needs are on the, on the special prize board tonight. They're hiding behind the red sectors. We'd really like you to win them all, because they are marvellous prizes. Please take your time, listen to Tony, and the best of British luck to both of you. Here we go. Come on. First three for you, Dennis. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bit. Here we right, go. Right, great chance to help charity here, Dennis. Best of luck. That's the bullseye! Hey. Well <laughs> this is a prize which will help towards rearing a puppy to become a guide dog for a blind person. Aww. Well done. Lovely, well done, Dennis. Red number eight. Number eight, fine. These are brilliant little machines to enable someone who's profoundly handicapped to communicate with other people. Okay. And red number one. These radios are on their way to five oh my Lord. individuals. Put the lights on. OK, out, John. Come on, my son. Just take your time. It's there. So that's red. It's number two. Well, well done, John. <laughs> well done. Number two, that's fine. That? Microwaves. He underhood that Young kid. adults who oh are both God. deaf and blind learn skills for independent living. Well done. That's red. It's number four. <laughs> Steady, John. How the fuck is he number doing this? Number four's in. And these are blenders which are going all over the country to help out children with digestive problems. Well done. And that's red, it's number seven. Number seven, well played, John. <laughs> All of these smashing toys are going to a toy library for needy nice. children in Scotland. Well, well done, done, John. Come on, let's get them all. OK, Dennis. There you go. Ones that's lit. Red number six. No problem. This special canoe can be used by a very disabled Close youngster enough. on a wonderful adventure holiday at Bendrig Lodge in the Lake District. 
As close as we're getting to the speedboat. Red number three. Excellent, Dennis. This is a tricycle and a little car. They're going to a very special adventure playground for physically and mentally handicapped children in Newcastle under Lyme. Nice. And that's the lot number Whoa, five, Blake. Right. Dennis. This alarm Good system shit. means that a frail elderly person can go on living in their own home knowing that help can be summoned immediately if needed. Now let's have a it's look like a at what alert. you've won. I'm five radios for the house band. Two microwaves for youngsters seeking independence. Toys for that special adventure playground. 14 blenders for children with digestive problems. An alarm system for an old person. A special canoe for the disabled. Toys for a toy library. Don't forget a speedboat for two kids. Two vocade machines. And upkeep to help this little fella become a guide dog. You've won all nine. Well done. Really great. <laughs> yes, really good. Boys, you've done very, very well. All nine you've won. You've also won £802. We're going to revolve the board now and ask you to consider not a gamble, which we normally do on the normal programmes. We're going to ask you, give you a chance to double that £802 you've won oh, to over £1,600 to, your, to the charity of your choice. 101 or more you need. What do you think? Well, well Dennis, he's a class dog with um, the What can we say? Brilliant, brilliant. It's got to be on. You've got to do it. Through. Absolutely. So we'll try and double it. 101 or more. Up. Dennis will he say won't You won't mess it up, John. Here we go. John, just take your time. You can do it. It's unique action. Right. 18. Good start. That's seven. And five. So that's all right. That gives you 30. Go give us a round of applause. <laughs> OK, Dennis. Well, it's 71, Dennis. A little bit to ask for. You can do it. Come on, Dennis. 20. OK. Trouble 18. Nice. Boys, you've done very well. Six, six, 16 under pounds. Come in here, lads. Come on, well played. In the trunk. Down your head. Absolutely brilliant. £1,604, John, tell us where the money's going. The Sue Ryder Foundation, home for the disabled. If you're there now, enjoy yourselves. Marvellous place. That's superb. Thanks to John McCurrick and Dennis oh, Priestley. Well done, boys. Thanks to the Navy, the Army and the Air Force. <laughs> well done. <clears throat> Thanks to Linda Lusardi, Bob Anderson, Frank Bruno, Phil Taylor, Tony Green and Bobby Bright. Thank you for joining us on this special edition of Bullseye. We're absolutely... Oh, just, oh, just, shit. Just, oh, geez. Just a minute. I love it. I'm dreadfully sorry, sir, but yes. these, are, these gramble weeds are uncontrollable, sir. Just a moment. I'll deal with him. What's the matter, Morris? What's the problem? How can you have a Christmas special without carol singers? Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 All right, Do the carol. Do the carol. Do the carol. Right. right. Here we go. The bulls are in the Sunday on TV. Chibrowin is the greatest host the world will ever see. Hell yeah. He only got the job because Bob Monkhouse wasn't free. <laughs> <laughs> Love and joy come to you, and to you your was hail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. Well, that was a fun way to kick the month off. I'm familiar with the Grumbleweeds. I don't think I... To my remembrance, I don't think I've done anything with them on the channel uh, up until now. Um, I don't think so. So, yeah, yeah, I don't, you know, well, maybe. I don't, know, I don't think... Not anything specific. Maybe something you're involved in. I don't entirely remember. But I hope, because it was the early 90s, that nobody in that episode did anything terrible. <laughs> because you never know... Nowadays, I, I sometimes, a lot, a lot of, most of the time, I have to research people just to make sure. In fact, um, I'm glad when I downloaded that episode off YouTube, I uh, read the comments because there was a part I had to cut. I don't know if anyone noticed, there was a cut about 14 minutes in because one of the Grumbleweeds did a Jimmy Sapple impersonation. So I was like, yeah, no, we're not, <laughs> we're not leaving that in. <laughs> so I cut that, but... I hope nobody else that did anything terrible, but if not, great. 
uh, starting off the month with a little bit of bullseye, and uh, our Christmas month is only getting started. But that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, I stream every single day, my second channel for instant views, my Twitter for following me, my Patreon if you want to support me on my daily motion. All those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all. As I'm currently recording 93 of my Patreon, so you can support me on my channel for as you don't know. You can be a Patreon me for as little as $1 or one pound. You can reaction videos, we'll read your comments up to date early, and your name in the description as well. Also in the description is linked to the community rate, right? as well as the daily schedules, all the Twitch VODs channel, all that being said though. My name is Tafferin's team, this has been my second reaction of Bullseye, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.